Hello and welcome to Tech Deals, Windows performance review time on this Acer Aspire E15 laptop computer. Why should you watch this video? Why should you care? Well, if you saw my previous review of this machine and you want to see how well Windows runs on it, or perhaps you're considering buying it and a search brought you here, then you came to the right place. We're going to look at web browser performance. We're going to open multiple programs. We're going to show you the reboot speed of this machine. I want to give you a general idea of what to expect if you buy this computer. Now, I've previously reviewed this machine. A link to it will be in the description below, but for $550, let me give you the summary. Intel i5-6200U processor. What is that? It's a two-core, four-thread processor. It's their mid-level processor. It is the latest and greatest generation that Intel makes. It's a very good value for the money. Relatively high performance, relatively low cost. It's a good chip for most people. Now, 8 gigabytes of system RAM comes standard with this machine, but it currently has 16. I've upgraded it from 8 to 16. That only costs $30 and takes two minutes of your time. There is a link in the description below of a video showing how to do that. I have um, also added a hard drive. This machine comes with a 256 gigabyte solid state flash memory drive. It is super fast performance. I'll show that later in the video at how quickly it opens programs, how quickly it reboots. But 256 gigabytes is not always enough for everybody not to worry. There is an empty drive bay to install an additional hard drive or SSD into this machine. I've made a video on how to do that. Link in the video description below to go check that out. So we have both a hard drive and a solid state drive in this machine. This computer comes with a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 940 MX dedicated gaming graphics card. That is a mouthful, I know. What does it mean? It is an entry-level dedicated graphics card designed to allow you to play basic games and some mid-level games. It is not a high-end enthusiast card. Don't expect to play all games at high detail. It won't do that. But for $550, it's a bonus. Most machines at this price point do not have any type of dedicated graphics. They just use the integrated Intel graphics, which works fine for Windows and web browsing and videos, but not so much for games. This thing will perform better for basic games. I will be doing gaming performance videos coming up soon. When they're done, they'll be linked in the description below. Go check those out if you're interested in gaming. Now, it also comes with both wired and wireless um, internet and network access. I currently have it plugged in with this cable here uh, to my wired ethernet. It's got a gigabit ethernet. It's got a DVD reader and writer. It has got a memory card reader and a 15.6 inch full HD 1080p screen. I love this machine. It's great. Battery life, I will be doing battery life tests, but not in this video. They take too long to run, but I will be running that and reporting that in a future video, but Acer claims 12 hours of battery life. Is that accurate? Probably not. Usually those claims are the best possible case scenario. Take them with a grain of salt, but I will test them and follow up in the future with what those look like. Now, we are in Windows. This has just been turned on and set up, and I just finished filming the first boot and Windows update. I've installed nothing else since that video. What we're going to do first is we're going to open up Microsoft's Edge web browser. I don't have any other browsers installed, so the first thing we're going to do is fix that. Um, in my search box here, I'm going to type in Chrome to download Google's Chrome. We are going to be testing three different web browsers at the same time with lots of stuff open. Agree and install. Now it has to download. That didn't take very long. Yes, we want to run this. I'll go ahead and close Edge while it's running. Now, certainly the download time is dependent on your internet connection, but this part here where it says installing, this is all the computer. Now, it doesn't take very long to download. Web browsers are not very large, but the install speed, that's pretty quick. That is all the computer. Now that Chrome's installed, let's go get Firefox. So we'll just type Firefox in, and we'll go download that. Free download. Again, this doesn't take very long. Already finished. And I'll close Chrome, install. Generally, when you install programs, you want to close everything else to let it do its thing. This doesn't take very long. It takes longer than Chrome, but not very long. And we don't want to import anything. 
and there's Firefox. No, we don't want you to check. Okay, now for the moment, I'm just going to close this. Now that you've seen the installation of web browsers, let's do a reboot. We're going to time this to see how long it takes to reboot. I'm going to click Start, Power. When I click Restart, now I'm not timing this live as we do it, but I will put the numbers up here from start to finish in the video when I edit it, and you can see how long it takes to reboot. Try this on your own machine with no programs loaded, sitting at the, West, uh, at the Windows desktop. Click on Start, click on Restart. Time it until you get a usable Windows desktop back, and restart. What does usable mean? Open Microsoft Edge as soon as you can when you get into Windows. When it, when it opens up and it's usable, I consider that to be a usable desktop. That's kind of the metric that I'm using. Because just because the Windows uh, desktop displays doesn't mean you can click anything. If your computer runs on a hard drive, and well, that was quick, and see, works perfectly. That is fast. Whatever that time was will be posted up here. Try that on your own machine and see how long it takes to do a full reboot of your machine. Click on Microsoft Edge and try typing something in the search box to see if it's responsive. How does it compare? Well, everybody's machine is going to be different. Now that we've done that, so you can get an idea of the solid state. By the way, that reboot speed is all solid state drive. If you're on a hard drive, that is five to ten times as long um, solid state drive. So let's go to YouTube. And actually, I'm going to go up here and type in youtube.com uh, slash c slash tech deals. I now have a custom URL. If you go to youtube.com slash c for channel slash tech deals, you find me. And there we are. I still need to get channel art up, but I at least got my logo done. Let's go to videos. Now, how many videos I open at once depends on the computer I'm running. This computer has a dual core, four threaded chip. It is a good chip, but it's not the top of the line, so I'm not going to open 12 videos like I do in some others. I will open six. One, two, three, four, five, six. By all means, try this on your computer as well. See how well this works. Go into Microsoft Edge to, to make it as the same as possible, even if you prefer something else just to make it exactly the same, um, and then see how well it works. The other thing I suggest is switch to theater mode. That will make it, there we go. You don't have to, but I mean, it just, there we go. Now it's playing ads. We all love ads, don't we? No worries. But you can see, hey, look at that guy. What a good mug. It's playing all these videos at the same time. Six different videos. Now, are you ever going to play six videos at once? Of course not. That's ridiculous. But that's not the point. If it can do this, then you could be streaming something from Netflix. You could be uh, Skyping with somebody. You could be. Um, downloading files, you can be checking your email, and Twitter feeds could be running. The point is to demonstrate that it can multitask, that it can do multiple things at once. That's the whole idea, is to demonstrate performance. Now I'm going to leave those six videos running, and I'm going to open up Chrome. What are we going to do here? We are going to go to Amazon.com. And the reason for that is, I comment on this in every Windows performance video, dress shop girl. Who's buying dresses on Amazon? Isn't that the kind of thing you have to buy when you go into a store? Every time I go to Amazon and I'm not signed in, because if you look, you'll see it says sign into your account because I'm not signed in. Dress shop girl is sitting there dancing. Acer Aspire E15. Let's pull this machine up. And there it is for $550. I will hold down control and press plus to zoom in so you can see it better. There we go. The number one bestseller in laptop computers. There's a reason for that. For $550, this thing is awesome. I love this machine. What a value. If you come to me and say, what computer? I've got about $500-ish to spend. I want to get a medium-sized computer for work, home, play, and that's my budget. 
this one. All day long, nothing else, go buy this laptop. And I say that, owning multiple laptops. Uh, I've done a video on an ASUS laptop, I own an HP laptop, I have a Dell. If you're at this price point, I'm not saying I like this just because it's the only laptop I have. Um, I hate to say this, but in the room that I'm standing in at the moment, there are four laptops. <laughs> There's three on the desk over there. This is the one I would say at 550 is the price point. Now, you can see how well this scrolls. Let's open up laptops, tablets, desktops, monitors, computer accessories, PC components, gaming, and all electronics. Let's click cell phones and accessories. Let's scroll this down and visit that store. Let's click on the Fire tablet. Let's come down here and shop Windows. Let's look at gaming monitors. I'm just making a point. You can click, move, switch tabs, click, go. I'm obviously not looking at anything or doing anything, but if the machine is this responsive now, what else can you do? Run Microsoft Office, have 10 programs open. Do you need more power than this? Most people don't. A lot of people think, well, I got to buy top of the line. I have to spend $1,000. I got to spend $2,000. And they go out and they overbuy their computer. Some of you, yes, need to buy a $1,000 laptop. I've got a $1,000 Dell with fancy stuff and a high res screen that I will be following up with some more videos. I've already done the review on it. Most people don't need that. This is all most people need. I love this thing. It's so responsive. Let's go back over here. We're still playing videos. These are all still running. So it has no problem streaming six videos while I come over here. When I click on each of these tabs, look at how fast the screen updates. More speed wouldn't improve this. No amount of additional horsepower would make this faster. I mean, I click and it's instant. What more do you want? Speaking of desktops, that is the desktop you should buy if you're looking for a mid-level desktop. And I've got one and I've done a review of it for $375. The ASUS M32 CD with the uh, Intel i3 chip, two cores, four threads, that's the one to buy. I love that machine. I will have more videos of that coming up as well. Let's do more. Now here's where we're going to break it. And this is not the computer's fault, this is Yahoo's fault. I do this in all my Windows performance reviews, so I will do it here. Yahoo's website is brutal. The design of the site, the number of frames, the internal guts of the site is very demanding on computers and very punishing on processors. So what I'm going to do is open up multiple tabs. Now it's complaining. I can feel the delay. If you watch me scroll these pages down, and try this on your machine. Try opening up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven Yahoo tabs under sports to make it the same. You'll notice that as I'm scrolling with the mouse wheel, it's, uh, it's not cooperating. This is what happens when you go to a bad site. Be careful when you're comparing performance and trying to figure out what the problem is because if you go to Yahoo and your computer is slow, it's Yahoo's fault. But a higher powered high-end chip will do this better. Um, I've done videos on i7 chips, four core, eight thread chips, and this runs much better. And this is where you run into the limitation of a $550 laptop. This, this is where we've broken it. This is where it's not smooth. Yeah, see, I'm clicking on that and it's, it's thinking about it. Because there's now too much running. If I did this exact same load, on that $1,000 Dell with the Intel i7 processor, this would be running fine. Now, do you plan to open seven Yahoo sports tabs at the same time and try to rapidly click between them while scrolling? Probably not. But it's a good demonstration of the fact that for 550, it runs out of power before the $1,000 machine does. Depending on your needs, this is fine. Watch how fast and responsive it is if we go over to Amazon. Perfect. The problem is not the computer. The problem is Yahoo's website is terrible. 
And the only solution to Yahoo site is more computer power. Because on a $1,000 laptop, Yahoo's website works properly. But on a $550 laptop, it doesn't. But notice that even with Yahoo still loaded, if I go back over and run through Amazon's pages, there's no problem. I'm doing this to demonstrate that most of the internet, most of the things you will do with a computer work perfectly on a $550 laptop. Yahoo's the exception. There's a few others, but if you go to a website that the performance is terrible, it might not be your machine, it might be that site. Now, let me close all those tabs and let me close all of Yahoo's tabs. Here's why. Oh, a different video is playing. This is somebody else now that uh, my video ran out. Oh, there you go. Well, you know it's playing videos when it's not even the same video when I come back up. I'm going to leave those videos running. Let's open up Chrome. And we will go back to Yahoo. But this time, I'm only going to do one tab. Let's see how well it works here with just one tab. Better. Now, the images haven't loaded yet. And I have a good internet connection. So again, that's Yahoo. I have 150 megabit down and 150 megabit up fiber connection. So any delay in loading, honestly, is the website. Not, is not, it's not the computer. And I'm connected to hardwired gigabit ethernet, so it's, it's not Wi-Fi either. Much better performance, but still not ideal. Would it make a difference if we closed the videos? Not really, but I'll close them just to show. Now it's still laggy. So now I have nothing else running. I only have one Yahoo tab open. I'm on wired gigabit ethernet connection on a 150 megabit fiber connection and it's still slow. So I'm just showing you that it's not the computer's fault. It's just a terrible website. And if you're a Yahoo fan, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. For 80 plus percent of everybody who needs a laptop, this is all you need. I recommend it with two thumbs up. I love this machine. I've been playing around with it. I did the initial boot. I ran Windows Update. I installed the RAM and the hard drive. Totally optional, you don't have to. For many users, they're completely optional, but if you want to multitask and open a lot of programs, open a lot of things and leave things open in the background, the extra RAM helps and it's $30. It's not too expensive. Like this video if you like it. Don't if you don't. Remember to subscribe to my channel. It's the big huge red button right down there. If it's not red because you've already subscribed, thank you very much. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions, those go in the comment section below the video. Let me know what you think. Too long, too short. Is there something else you want to see me doing? Do you like these videos? I need your feedback because I cannot read your mind. And as always, if you like my channel in general, if you like this video or my other videos or my how-to guides, then please support my channel by using the links in the video description below. That is the best way you can support me. I certainly appreciate it. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video.